Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing a roundup of my 2021 beauty favorites. I'm going to be covering everything from skincare, makeup, hair care, perfume, all of the products, but I will tell you, I actually don't have that many products to share this year. Um, and that is because I genuinely did not wear a lot of makeup this year. I kind of just like went back to the basics or discovered new products, but really kept it very, very simple um, and minimal. So that's kind of the vibe that I'm going for with this video. That being said, I do have quite a few products that we need to make our way through. So I will just say grab a snack, grab a drink, get comfortable, and let's just jump right into it. Now, I don't have too, too many skincare products here because I actually tried quite a few skincare products this year. Let's just go ahead and get started with skincare first. And the first set of products I have to share, I feel like I've talked about these honestly at this point for years. Um, but I love them and I've used so many of these in the past and I just think that this is such a good product that I recommend it to everyone. So this is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel Pad. Now this is the extra strength one. They also have a regular one which is in the orange color picture right here. Um, but this is a chemical exfoliant and basically, and I don't want to open it right now because I'm not going to use this, but there's like tiny little pads. You do step one, apply it all over clean skin, wait a few seconds, probably like 45 seconds or so, and then do step two, again, wait a few seconds. You don't want to rinse it, and then continue on with the rest of your skincare. And this product will, for me, it literally changed my skin. Um, this is, like I said, a chemical exfoliant, so it's going to gently exfoliate your skin, and it just helps to reveal brighter, glowing complexion. This stuff works. I will say, if you are new to chemical exfoliants, I would skip the extra strength one, just get the regular one first, use it a couple of times a week, build up your tolerance, and then you can use it every day. Okay, let's just quickly talk about this because I use this literally every time I use my makeup um, to take it off, and that is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Meltaway Cleansing Balm. But this is amazing to truly just like break down your makeup, whether it's like the toughest eyeliner, mascara, lipstick, whatever you have on your face, this will remove it so quickly, so gently, and um, it doesn't feel like greasy on the skin, doesn't feel heavy on the skin. I just, this is like top five skincare products of all time for me. Okay, next up is this product right here from Murad. This is called the Essential C Daily Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Now, because I had a baby this year, I didn't have a lot of time to get ready in the day, and I was very much into like products that would just kind of, you know, do like multiple things with one product. And this I really liked because this is a moisturizer as well as an SPF in one. And it's so lightweight, like it literally is so lightweight. And look at that, there's no white cast on my skin whatsoever. Serum that I just loved so much in 2021. Honestly, I've used it for years even prior to that is the Lancome Genifique, Advanced Genifique Serum. This is like everyone's favorite serum and I get it after using it for so long. My skin has become so hydrated. When you use this on your skin, it actually like feels really like plumping on the skin. Like that's the best way I can describe it. It feels like a burst of water, like a burst of drink for your skin. It's amazing. Like the serum, the consistency, the formula is amazing. Great to add hydration. And I specifically want to shout this out to you guys because I personally use this throughout my entire pregnancy. And I got asked a lot, like what are some skincare products that are safe for pregnancy? I will still say, speak to your doctor, make sure you get their clearance. But for me personally, I use this throughout my entire pregnancy, after baby, still use it. Again, have gone through multiples of these and just adore this. Now let's go ahead and get into some makeup products um, because I am dying to actually get some makeup on. I haven't worn makeup now in a couple of days and I'm just like missing it so much. So I'm very excited to put some makeup on. Now I'm gonna talk about a foundation that I kind of discovered towards the end of, I don't wanna say towards the end, kind of like, yeah, like middle end of the year. And it was like love at first sight. I fell in love with it. This foundation from Anastasia. This is the Luminous Foundation. And my shade is 345C. I wonder if the C stands for cool. That's very interesting because you know that I am so warm. Like my skin is so warm. So I don't know what's up with the C. But anyway, let's just go ahead and apply this foundation. 
and I'm just gonna show you guys how amazing it just like blends out on my skin the color match is beautiful the under um, tone is also amazing and I just can't get enough of this foundation like look at it just like a little bit of this foundation is all you need they really build this up to be more fuller coverage but like just one coat will give you like you know good medium to light coverage or light to medium coverage now let's talk about a concealer another concealer that i kind of discovered like mid end of the year probably quite closer to the end of the year but again it was love at first sight and this is from nars this is their um soft matte complete concealer yeah soft matte com complete concealer i am using this actually with a brush on one side because i just want to show you guys the difference of how well this concealer works Sorry guys, my camera just cut out there, but I just want to show you guys this on this side, um, how well this concealer works with a brush. And my new thing with concealer is kind of doing this like lifting technique. It just kind of helps like lift up your face a little bit. I love this technique. And on the other side, I want to show you guys how well this works with my fingers. So this concealer is a full coverage concealer, but it does not feel heavy whatsoever. I also really like the formula of it because it's not, it's like a matte concealer, but it's not overly drying whatsoever. Like it feels so nice on, under the eyes when you apply it and it blends out. You guys saw like so quickly. To me, this is like a makeup eraser, or not a makeup eraser, like a dark circle eraser because it literally just like erases the dark circles so quickly. Um, I love it. I honestly don't think I've ever talked about this powder on camera, which is so strange because I use this all the time off camera. And it's from Pure Cosmetics. And this is what it looks like. I really hope that they still have this in stock and this is not like a limited edition product or something. Um, but this is called the Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Very simple, straightforward. Um, but I really like this because it has an extremely subtle... I wouldn't even say yellow undertone, but like a creamy undertone. So it just like ever so slightly brightens up under your eyes. And look at that. Like it literally brightens up under your eyes so nicely. Next up we have the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Um, this has been definitely like a favorite for a couple of years now. Just because it's a very easy to use bronzer for a lot of different skin tones. And definitely a product that you can use every day if you just use very little. Right now, I'm trying to actually contour with it. So I grabbed a good amount of product. And I'm just kind of focusing it like closer to my ear area just to kind of like, again, sculpt my face, lift up my face, and not drag it down too, too much. I actually really want to do like makeup, not like do's and don'ts, but kind of like make mistakes that I personally have made for myself. Let me know if you guys want to see that video. Anyway, like I said, this is just a really nice, easy bronzer. It is completely matte. Next up, we've got blush. And this is easily my go-to blush of 2021. Fell in love with it from the first use. It's from Laura Mercier in the shade Watermelon. And this is what it looks like. I know there's like kind of like, what's that word I'm looking for? You guys saw like when I applied it, it looked like a little bit chalky, but it's not at all on the skin. Um, but I do want to call out because if you are planning on purchasing this, I want to kind of like let you know how it is on the skin, especially if you're closer to my skin tone. This is not like a super, super insanely pigmented blush. This is a very subtle blush, but the color is so beautiful and it is like the perfect pink shade for my skin. And what I love the most about it is that, again, it's like a blush and a highlight in one. When you look at it in the pan, it looks completely matte, but on the skin, hopefully you guys can see it on camera, but it has got like this like beautiful sheen. So it's kind of like a highlight and blush in one. It's beautiful. I'm like in love with this. One highlight that I just kept like reaching for over and over again, and one that's just like easy, is this one from Bare Minerals in the shade Free. It's this like really beautiful champagne gold highlight. And I'm just gonna add the tiniest bit. I'm not gonna like overdo it with my highlight because we've got a lot going on already on my face. Um, but this is just a very beautiful highlight that you can kind of do like a lot with in terms of like, if you want like a super intense highlight, you can build this up or do what I'm doing right now, keep it very subtle. 
and it adds a really nice like glow to your skin and this color specifically is so so nice for my skin tone this product is this right here i'm just gonna kind of apply a little bit and then tell you why i love it if you want your makeup to last all day long you need this because this really kind of like locks it in whatever technology is in here works but this one i like so much more than the original because it adds a very very healthy subtle glow this is not going to make you look like greasy or overly glowy you guys know what i'm talking about right like it's not going to do any of that it's just going to add a very subtle beautiful glow and again it's going to set your makeup in place if i was going for an eyeshadow look i wanted something quick and easy even if i wanted to do like a full-on smoky eye and i just I cannot recommend these eyeshadow sticks enough from Bobbi Brown if you want to achieve a quick smoky eye in like less than like a minute. It's like seriously so easy to use. And these two sticks, um, eyeshadow sticks are my favorite. This is shade Cinnamon right here. Let me show you guys what it looks like. It's like a medium matte brown. Very pigmented, very blendable, lasts all day. And then this is the shade Bark, which is a dark matte brown. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how quick and easy these are to use. I just apply the shade Cinnamon very messily. You guys can see I'm not being like super careful with it whatsoever on the outer V of my eye. Then taking any blending brush, you're just gonna blend this back and forth. And this is such a creamy, rich formula that it blends out like a dream. Like look how quick that was to blend out, right? And if you also are like someone that's you know feels like you're not good at doing your eyeshadow or like you struggle to do a smoky eye this will simplify your life so much anyway now i'm taking the shade bark which is that dark brown and just kind of like blending this out really quickly just in my outer v and that's your eyeshadow right there in bronze also from bobby brown and seriously, this look that I'm doing right now was like my go-to look when it came to my eyeshadows all of this year. Like, because it's just so easy. And I'm doing this in real time so you guys can see it, not editing or anything like that. Um, how quick and easy these are. Love, love, love this shade as well. It's just so wearable on its own also. Anyway, you guys get the point. I'm obsessed with these. I recommend them. For my eyeliner, I'm going to quickly insert me applying this eyeliner because I just struggle so much to like apply my eyeliner and talk at the same time. But my go-to liner this year has been this one from House Labs. The name has completely rubbed off because I use this all the time. It is just a really nice, easy to use felt tip liner and it does a great job at quickly lining your eyes. You will see right here as I'm talking how easy it is to use. And I will say, I don't know if there's like a way to like put yourself on alert or something on Amazon, but definitely do put yourself on an alert because this went on sale multiple times on Amazon. And I did talk about it whenever I knew it was on sale. So you can find this sometimes on sale. All right, now for my waterline. This is my go-to liner this year from By Mario. Um, I don't really have much to say about it except that it is like a super pigmented brown pencil liner that I love to use in my waterline. It doesn't smudge at all. It stays put all day. Um, it's just very easy to use. It doesn't pull on your eyes or anything like that. There's also this like brush on the back to like smoke it out. I don't really ever find myself using that. But the eyeliner itself, it's great. They're doing some construction again in my building. So if you hear that, ignore that. But anyway, back to the makeup. Um, and I did go ahead and apply my favorite lashes ever. I actually don't think I applied them right on this eye. This is okay. Anyway, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, but before I tell you guys the lashes, I just want to give a special shout out to this mascara right here. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. I think it's the Pillow Talk mascara. Um, I don't have it anymore because I used it up. This was my favorite mascara of 2021. Uh, well, one of my favorite mascaras of 2021. I just loved how bold and separated, you know, it made my lashes look. It lengthened them, volumized, all of that. It was a great mascara. Highly recommend that. Um, but in terms of lashes, these are always my go-to. You guys already know that if you know me. They are the Ardell Demi Wispies, right here, Demi Wispies. And I always buy them in this like five-pack form. What I love about these lashes is that they are just so lightweight. They don't feel like you have these like heavy lashes on. Great to wear on like everyday basis if you do wear false lashes, but also for like a super glam look. They just add like a really nice like 
I don't know, they just like add like a really like nice twinkle to your eyes, if that makes sense. Okay, now for eyebrow pencil, I wanted to, I actually have two that I used a lot. Where did the other one go? Okay, these two right here, um, I used a lot. This one more though, because it was easier. So let me quickly start off here. This is the um, Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. It's like a really fine point, so it's great if you want to like mimic hairs. Let me get a little bit closer so you guys can see, but like I'm missing hairs all in the front of my brows. So this is actually really, really nice because it like mimics real hairs. On a daily basis, I did find myself using pencils like this that have like a slant and that are a little bit bigger. This one again is from Charlotte Tilbury because this was just so quick and easy to use. And it filled in my brows so easily and even if I was not wearing like a full face of makeup and I was just kind of doing like my two minute face, which is usually like concealer or a little bit of foundation, some blush, some like lip balm or lip gloss um, and mascara, I would still fill in my brows and I would use this because it would just make it so easy. So I quickly did my hair, not the best job. I had like three minutes to do my hair. I'm going to be sharing all the products that I love for my hair in just one second. Um, but let's go ahead and quickly finish off the beauty or the makeup portion of this video with the lip recommendations. And as usual, <laughs> I've got a few for you. Um, I really liked a lot of like neutral lips, like everyday lipsticks. And I also love like lip balms and lip glosses or like products that have like a shiny finish to them. The first one is actually this one from Dior. This is called the Lip Glow. And I used this so much last year. Now this is such an interesting product because kind of like the blush actually, this transforms um, on your lips. This is like a lip balm, but it transforms the color on your lips and it just is like the most beautiful pinky, like shade of pink on your lips. Like the color will develop in just a minute, but you can see like it started off clear or like a light pinky shade. Um, it started off clear and now it's like this really beautiful everyday light pink shade. I love it so much. I have to share this lip combo because I used this so much in 2021. Um, and these are both Maybelline lipsticks. This is called the Ultimate um, Ultimate Matte Lipstick. And I recommend actually buying both of them because of course you can use them by themselves, but paired together, these are just stunning. The first shade is 999 More Truffle. And I actually like to use this as um, a lip liner and I'll create this like really messy click lip liner with this and then to fill in my lips I go in with this shade right here which is 669 and then I'm just gonna kind of apply that in the center of my lips like this and you can see didn't do a very good job it's very messy what I will then do is just take my fingers and blend the two together and look how pretty this lip combo is. It's so pretty, so wearable. Again, a lip combo that I think is going to work on so many different skin tones, but specifically for my skin tone, I think it's just stunning. The last lip combo that I'm going to share, and I wore this lip combo so much, is this right here. So both of these are from Makeup Forever. This was like my go-to lip liner of last year or this year. We're still in 2021. We have like five more days left. Uh, but this is in the shade Limitless Brown. And I'm just going to quickly line my lips with this. In general, um, both in 2020 and 2021, I was very into like lining my lips before applying my lipstick. I just feel like it gives it a very like flawless finish like to your makeup even if you're doing like a very simple glam it just like elevates your makeup so well when you just simply line your lips and this one the limitless brown from makeup forever is just that perfect everyday brown shade that i love for lipstick oh this color is so pretty this is bold cinnamon and if you guys are looking for like that perfect nude lipstick for my skin tone or if you're close to my skin tone i really recommend this so you can see Again, it's pretty light, but the um, lip liner makes it so wearable. So I'm just going to quickly press my lips together and again, kind of like blend in the two with each other. And it just makes such a nice wearable 
neutral everyday shade and there you have it you guys such a good lip combo i can't recommend this guys enough. so this is the end of the video and i do want to quickly finish off the video with some hair picks as well not too many products although i tried so many hair products in uh, 2021 i just like love experimenting like with different hair products this year uh but the ones that like really stuck out to me are these right here so the first one this is actually a new one because i was using another one of these and then i had like this much left like less than half left and i can't find it anymore so i do have another one but i love this this is the bubble and bumble uh invisible oil heat and uv protective primer um, and this is kind of like a multi-purpose product to use this is on damp hair before i use any sort of heat protectant or heat tool in my hair i'll just spray this all over my hair and it like detangles your hair it protects your hair from the heat it leaves it's like a leave-in conditioner such a good product but my favorite part about it is that it doesn't weigh your hair down so love that next up we have the kerastase chronologist hair mask i actually use this today in my hair again and I will say with this hair mask, you have to try it out to understand why I'm so obsessed with it. I would really recommend going to Sephora, getting a sample, and I can pretty much guarantee that you're going to fall in love with it after the first use. Uh, so the way that you use it, or the way that I like to use it, is I will wash my hair and with my regular shampoo and then put this on instead of my deep conditioner or like my regular conditioner and leave this on for five minutes. That's all the time you need. And oh my gosh, when you come out of the shower and you style your hair, or even if you don't style your hair, you just air dry your hair, my hair feels so soft and smooth. It looks shiny, it looks healthier, and it just feels like, I don't know how to explain it. You know what I mean? It just like feels healthy. Um, so of course, like I said, I am using, I did use this in my hair today, and I absolutely love it. Can't say enough good things about it. This is like one of my favorite hair products of all time. I'm gonna make this really quick because I literally have one minute left on my memory card. Um, and I've also talked about this product for so many years now, but it is the Dyson Airwrap. I use this all the time, and I definitely use it all of 2021 and previous years, even before that, ever since the launch, basically. I used it. It is the best hair tool, in my opinion, because it is a multi-purpose product. You can straighten your hair with it, curl your hair with it, uh, create waves, like so many different things, um, blow dry your hair by simply just removing the barrel on top and like using a different attachment. It is a very pricey item. It's truly an investment, but if mine broke tomorrow, I would run out and get a new one. And I would definitely get it in like that beautiful, like navy orangey one. Oh my God, the new colorway is so pretty. I just love this product. And if you guys have been considering it, this is your sign to go buy it because I guarantee you, you will use this a lot. It takes a minute to figure it out, like how to properly use it. But once you get the hang of it, there's like nothing else like it. I've tried so many other products. There's nothing else like it. And you guys, with that, we have made it to the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and found this video useful, just sharing all the products that I loved in 2021. As always, everything will be linked below. If you can please take a quick second to subscribe before you head out. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.